Okay, James P. Madonna here at the Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. I am um, doing something in reverse. I'm getting my lemons first in the color coordinated bowl, Jeff Zambello. Please get well, Jeff Zambello, he, uh, my, my buddy, my close buddy, pal of mine, is in a hospital right now. Send him your prayers. Um, what the hell is this? It's not an orange, is it? Wait a minute. I'm confused. I don't want an orange. I want, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want, I want lemon water. I'm, I never heard of an orange lemon. Here. You need lemons? Yeah. I don't even know if they're real lemons. Come. They smell like lemons. I don't know. I'm a little confused here. But then again, some nice mangoes would be good. We've got some mangoes. Kiwi fruit, mangoes, here's a fresh pineapple. Hmm, interesting. Now I hope to God these are not oranges. Unless it's a new type of lemon. Called an orange lemon, maybe it's a hybrid. Maybe it's a hybrid, Jeff Sambo, you know? I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm really confused. I hope I'm not making a mistake. Mistake, mistake. Speaking of mistake, I hope they got steak. Look, the lemons are orange. Yeah, the lemons. Is that a are real? Orange. Is that an orange lemon, or is that really an orange <laughs> to to try to pass it off as a lemon? I, I don't know. Better yeah. be a lemon. Lemons, I tried already. No. But look like orange. It is a lemon with orange skin. Orange skin. You you want to be on YouTube? No. <laughs> you know she always says no okay um let me try one of these mangoes papayas are good too sometimes they put out papayas all right now i go get my food <laughs> make you a star you get discovered i'll put you on the internet you'll be a big star did you sing? No. Okay, let me go get my food. <laughs> okay, see what we got here. Uh, oh, no duck? Uh, maybe the ducks are, uh, are lucky ducks. Maybe they're escaping the, uh, the people that wring their little skinny necks. The scrawny necks are saved. Uh, hey, the sushi is covered. Look at that. The sushi is under a dome. Look at that. Uh, how are you? Hey, man. How you doing? The king of Mongolian barbecue. I was just talking to him. The king. The king. What do we got here? Um, tilapia? Really? African cichlid, tilapia. Alright, you know, why not? Why not? I'll, I'll take some tilapia. If they're originally from the Nile River, I believe. Jeff Sambello of Africa. The deepest, darkest Africa. It's a freshwater fish, so it, it would not be surf and turf. It'll be turf and turf. No, I'm sorry. It will be surf and turf. It just won't be in the form. Oh, they got lamb ribs. Ooh. All right, let me get some cock dribble uh, black uh, Eastern mussels. And, uh, in, a, in a bouillon balls, in a, in a white bouillon base uh, sauce, bouillon balls. All right, here. 
Get some mussels. Over there we got the uh, shrimp wrapped in flounder. On that side. We got some succulent lamb ribs. Oh yeah, no, there might not be duck, but I sure as hell am gonna have wonderful surf and turf with these lamb ribs. Sacrificial lamb. Jeff Sambello. Also want to give a shout out to the exorcist uh, um, Bishop, Bishop Brian from the famous uh, show on the Travel Channel, Ghost Adventures. Give a shout out to the exorcist Bishop Brian, who is a culinary connoisseur of fine foods and also fine scotch. I, I'm sure he blesses the scotch. Beautiful. All right, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. But before I get out of there, oh, forget it. He's oh, look at that little bit of food. Anyway, the King of Mongolian Barbecue. I will be back. Even though he's, he's got a little bit. Me, I eat ten times that amount. You know. It is one finished product. Got the uh, I think got the artificial crab meat in there. All right. You know what? I'll come back. How are we doing with the soup? Chicken noodle, potato, potato soup. No, that's peasant food, peasant food. Now the seafood soup, the seafood soup is pretty good. The seafood soup is pretty good. See, they got everything nice and covered. I like that. Keep the cosmic uh, dust out of it. Hot and sour soup, very good if you have a cold. Egg drop soup. I think egg drop, the original egg drop soup was dropped from the Great Wall of China. Jeff Zambello, you have to have the right altitude. Vegetable soup, ah, peasant, peasant, peasant soup. Steamed dumplings. Chick, uh, shrimp in a Creole sauce. Here we go, the angel hair rice noodles. Some crawfish. Okay, Shirley, here I have some tilapia with lamb ribs and uh, mussels, black mussels. Here we got ch chow mein foon, chow mein foon, crawfish, shrimp and spicy creole sauce. Here we got steamed dumpling, steamed dumpling. Okay. And I uh, think di different kind of soup. Egg drop soup. Uh, there's the sushi up close. And uh, let's see, uh, I'm going to sit down now because I think I have enough food. Um, seafood soup, again, I'm just showing it to a friend. Um, okay, here's your favorite, hard ice cream. Ice cream is there. Let's see what they've done to it. Eh, it's not too bad. Not too sloppy. Here we have a squash sauteed squash and we have eggplant very good very tasty eggplant they look like churros they look like churros to be honest with you french toast okay i have enough okay okay there we go now i will find out if the orange skin lemons really taste like lemons all right, Jimmy, I got barbecue lamb ribs, uh, some tilapia, black mussels in a bouillon balls, I mean bouillon base sauce. I'm gonna see if these orange skin lemons are real lemons. Uh, they told me that they are, just a different variety. Got a hunk of mango. Um, the owner of the uh, buffet over there, the Turkish guy, wants to open up a place by the Patterson Falls. The mayor of Patterson comes here often. I gave him my suggestions. Okay. Uh, whether or not a politician takes it or not, who knows. I should tell him to call Bill Pasquale, though. What the hell you think this is, an employment agency? Okay, the party room is open. Here are the beautiful lamps from Turkey. Beautiful Turkish lamps. Party room is open. Okay, now. Royal hibachi, 
Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. I'm going to, and I'm waiting for the, the, the true king of Mongolian barbecue. I don't know where what happened to him. Mm. Well, maybe he'll he'll return possibly. shrimp like I normally do okay All right as a foundation for my Mongolian barbecue right. uh, don't crimp the shrimp Jeff Zambello and uh, exorcist Bishop Brian and Jimmy Liguori don't crimp the shrimp All right, baby corns no they're not indigenous to Asia, so I am not going to select them because I like only authentic things that are indigenous to the part of the world. Since I am a fun guy, I love mushrooms, of course. I am going to uh, go heavy on the, on the mushrooms. All right. Being very careful not to spill anything. Because I am very meticulous. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I am very meticulous in every damn way. You understand, jabronis? Okay. Ah, uh, onions or broccoli? You know what? Broccoli is good, but I think onion, as Justin Wilson used to say, onion adds a lot of flavor. All right, now. getting awfully high now man little onions well, I don't know about a little it looks like a lot of onions that's the Louisiana Cajun way to do it I'm coming I'm coming with my grande Mongolian barbecue grande da, 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 da. here we go it's coming holy shit Oh my god, this is gonna be a disaster? Yes or no? Oh my god. Is this gonna be a disaster or what? Look at that. This is the before. This is the before. Wow. Look at it, hold on, look at it. Hey, what a beautiful, what a beautiful sight. Look like Mount Everest. Mui. Muy picante and lots of garlic. A lot of garlic and a lot of hot pepper. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the oh. yaki soy sauce? Yeah, I can, yeah, some soy sauce, sure. Okay. Look at that. Look at that beautiful site. It happens to be, I think, my second massive Mongolian barbecue. Um, look at the vapors of life. Commodore Jeff Sambello. I got a lot of mushrooms, I got a lot of onions. Alright. A lot of garlic. I gotta have a lot of muy picante uh, hot pepper there. I got uh camarones. I got uh uh me fun, you know, angel hair of rice noodle. Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, mushroom. I said that already. Uh, there you go, it's beautiful. This is a work of art. And this is the king, the king of all Mongolian barbecues, right there. He's the king, because I said so. <laughs> That's all, simply because I said so. He, I, I will give him the PH, honorary PhD in Mongolian barbecue chef. He will get a certificate. Not from Trump University, though. That's not worth anything. You know what they did? Those stupid people that went to Trump University? He promised to take photographs with the graduate. It was a cardboard, a cardboard 
stat like a statue made of cardboard of him. Yeah. It wasn't really him. Yeah. But the 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 the, 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 the poem is not worth anything. It's worth nothing. That, that what a what a what a scam he was. What a stupid ass. Unbelievable. Very crazy man. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You, you have a, a sesame oil? Sesame oil? You have sesame? Yeah. yeah, put a little sesame. If you have. Sesame oil is a very nice, very nice flavor. Yeah. Very nice flavor. Ooh. Look at that. Sesame oil. Open sesame. Where the hell is it? Oh my god. There you go. Beautiful. 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 Wonderful smell. And uh, very good for you too. Okay, there he is mixing up my my massive. Well, it used to be massive when I first grabbed it. I put all the ingredients when it was raw, but now it is shrinking down. It's getting cooked. My shrimp, uh, chow mein phone, onions, mushrooms, and uh, sesame oil. Yeah, that's about it. Little soy sauce. It's my second Mongolian barbecue grande. Yeah, this, this one is mine. This one is for me. That's why I got so much shrimp in there. King of Mongolian barbecue is completing my wonderful Mongolian barbecue. This is uh, the Royal Hibachi Buffet uh, on Route 46 West in Saddlebrook, New Jersey, the finest buffet in northern New Jersey as far as I'm concerned. The best value, the best bang for the buck. For lunch, only $10 all you can eat. You've heard it right, you've heard it right, only $10 all you can eat for lunch. And um, they have fresh seafood here, not nothing frozen. Oh, the Cameroon. And um, they put out lamb, barbecue lamb ribs, sometimes leg of lamb. Heart ice cream, uh, Latin desserts. And there he is, the finished product. Oh, beautiful. A work of art. A work of art. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Gracias. Thank you. There we go. Alright. That is a beautiful sight. Alright. Let me bring it back to my table. Hopefully, no accidents will take place. Muy picante Mongolian barbecue. There we go. Alright. There you go. Well, you can smell that sesame oil. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Gee, what a pleasant surprise. Not not the baby crying, but look at that. I, I believe that's hummus. I do believe that is hummus. And there's my color coordinated hummus bowl. How about that? Well, it's actually a soup bowl, but anyway. Yes, I love hummus. What should I put on it? Maybe some of this. Now, I'll put some of this on it. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful sight. What a pleasant surprise. Delicious hummus with uh, parsley, cucumber, and tomato salad on top. And a hummus color coordinated bowl. How about that? Here at the Royal Hibachi Buffet. Okay, 
What flavor am I gonna have? Because it's the end of the buffet. I think I'm gonna have chocolate, the old standby. Chocolate. I think I'm gonna have chocolate. I didn't get a chance to have the eggplant, but I'm not in the mood. Alright, let it be chocolate. Okay, who can think of a better way to finish off the best bang for the buck, the best value in lunch buffets than with the old standby hard chocolate ice cream hand scooped? Alright. That's what I'm gonna have. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.